When it comes to perhaps the most iconic drink of all, the martini, everybody pretty much knows how they like theirs prepared. But as we spoke about earlier, part of making a great cocktail is about understanding the correct and appropriate technique to make that cocktail just right. When a cocktail recipe calls for spirit only, traditionally we stir that cocktail. Now just like shaking, we stir a cocktail for two reasons, to chill the ingredients and also to mix the ingredients together. And you can certainly achieve a cocktail just as chilled by stirring as you can by shaking, as long as you learn the right technique. So why don't I show you a classic gin martini, stirred, and we can see what that's all about. My favorite gin, of course, is Hendrix, so I'm gonna start off by making a, pretty much a wet Hendri Hendrix gin martini. So in my mixing glass here, I'm gonna start off with about three ounces of Hendrix gin. And then to that, I'm gonna add what really should be the vermouth part of the martini. Classic gin martini calls for gin and dry vermouth. Now, I'm gonna use Lillet. Lillet technically isn't a vermouth, but it very much behaves like one in a cocktail. Lillet Blanc here is a fortified wine from the Bordeaux region and really marries very well with Hendrix gin in particular. Has lots of lovely aromatic flavors to it. So I'm gonna add in around about a and a half an ounce of this Lillet Blanc to my mixing glass. And that's pretty much the ingredients of my classic martini here. So now I'm ready to add the ice. So I'm gonna fill up my mixing glass with ice. And again, I'm gonna pretty much fill it up to the top here. And very carefully, I'm gonna hold the mixing glass at the base. That's why we have a little elevated base on the mixing glass. So we can hold that between our finger and thumb at the bottom very securely without warming our glass because a quintessential martini is all about being nice and crisp and ice cold. So we don't want to warm this up already. So we hold it firmly at the bottom and then comes the bar spoon. What you want to do is take the bar spoon, the back of the spoon goes into the glass plush against the inside and then we're stirring. And I like to do what we call a carousel movement. You know, like the horses of the carousel, round and round and up and down. This pretty much helps to lift the ice cubes through the drink. And if we do it quick enough, we really get some good chilling going on with the ingredients. Now, I am a little superstitious and I was always taught 20 times to the right, 20 times to the left. So it's treated me fairly well so far. I'm gonna stick to that. And I hope no one's counting out there because I think I just lost count. Anyhow, <laughs> once we've stirred our cocktail down, I can already feel that the ingredients are nice and chilled. I'm gonna take my julep strainer, not just to make mint juleps for, in fact, that's not really where the name comes from, but that's a story for another day. I'm gonna use the julep strainer here in the mixing glass to strain out my martini into the cocktail glass. And as you can see, this has been patiently chilling down. Like I said, a good martini is all about ice cold. So every step of the way, we chill all of our equipment and glassware down as much as we can. So I'm just gonna dump this ice out, give it a little shake. We've got that beautiful chilled glass just waiting for the gin martini. I can't wait to take a sip myself. <laughs> now the trick here is to give a nice circular motion as we strain so that the cocktail doesn't hit the bottom of the glass here and then kind of splash back out at me. So watch closely and we'll just give a nice controlled kind of circular swirling motion here as the martini comes right into the glass there. Just a nice finish. And what you'll see is we have this beautiful clear look to the martini and that's because we've stirred it. So we haven't really interrupted the body, the mouthfeel of the spirit here. It's just kept really nice and smooth, smooth as velvet. So here's our classic martini. When it comes to garnish as well, there are a few different options. Hendrix Gin has a nice bright sweet lemon note on the nose, in my opinion. So I like to dress a Hendrix Gin martini with a lemon twist. So what I like to do is just take a nice ripe lemon, cut off the bottom so that it stands nice and firm on my cutting board to allow me to cut a nice thick piece of the zest right off. 
And what I'm going to do with the zest here, see it's nice and thick, I can hold it with the two hands. Firstly, I'm just going to wipe that around the rim of the glass. What we're doing here is we're providing aroma for our martini. Remember, aroma is one of those great parts of a beautiful cocktail. Now that I'm ready with the two hands, I'm just going to snap this together. And what you see is the essential oils from the lemon just burst right out onto the surface of the cocktail. And we can slip that right in. Another option is to take one of these channel knives, which are actually quite easy to master. You might need a few practices first. We just run this around the lemon. And what we find is we have a beautiful little swirl like this, a nice spiral, which again, if we just pull open, can release the oils on the top of the cocktail, and then we can drop that in. So, like I said, perhaps the most iconic cocktail of all, the martini. I like mine made with gin, Hendrix gin, and I like to stir them nice and cold.